What's going on guys? Welcome to another edition of the Nerd Chase channel. I'm your boy Nerd Chase and in this video we're going to be reviewing Black Panther. Black Panther is supposed to be this all inspiring, plus to break the mold type movie that's additional to the Marvel Cinematic Universe leading to Avengers Infinity Wars. However, I have to say no. <laughs> Look, it's a good and entertaining movie, but it does not come without its share of flaws. Now, for the good aspects of it, the story was somewhat interesting, and it wasn't really original because we have seen this in play in other movies before, but for the most part, it is in still an enjoyable ride. I did appreciate the performances, which definitely deserve two thumbs up. You just have some of the great, some great A-listers, Forrest Whitaker, you got Lupita Nyong'o, you got Michael B. Jordan, of course, Chadwin Bosman comes back as T'Challa, he's great, fantastic, Andy Serkis, Angela Bassett, who's beautiful and gorgeous as ever, Daniel Kaluuya, Denai Guerrero, Winston Duke, Martin Freeman. They just, when it comes to the performances and the casting, it was just terrific. More of my problems with the film focus more on the character of T'Challa. Now, as you know, in Captain America Civil War, in my review, I said I love the Black Panther. He was badass. He has some of the best moments in the movie, not only action-wise, but when it comes to character development as well. In this movie, not so much. In fact, Black Panther is played down in this movie to the point that the movie probably shouldn't be called Black Panther. Most of the most memorable moments in the movie have nothing to do with his character. Killmonger had the best scenes in the entire movie. When the, there are these moments between T'Challa and Killmonger, Killmonger easily steal the scenes. Really the problem I could say with this movie is with the writing. Black Panther doesn't act like Black Panther. He doesn't have that confidence. He doesn't have that strength and most of the other characters around him more memorable moments next to killmonger my favorite character is okoye she literally had the most badass lines the most badass fight sequences she had some of the most memorable moments in the entire movie now i do recognize that this is a, a really big movie because of the whole black ensemble and the whole black cast and what it means towards some of the social injustices in the world that are going on However, I think when it comes to this movie, they laid it on pretty thick. If it had been more subtle, I feel as if it might have worked. But I think when they come, when it comes to this movie, they were gunning for a certain demographic. And yes, they went for it full force. Even with Killmonger's motivations, it does seem kind of a stretch because of the things that he preached and the things that he did were in def definitely were in contrast to one another i will say that the be one of the best aspects of the movie next to the performances and the casting is actually the score which was great had a great blend of african themed uh music as well as hip-hop that was actually really good so the soundtrack was done really well I did like the look of Wakanda. It looked advanced. It looked really good. I loved the set pieces, which looked really good and authentic. I loved the way the costume designs worked. Cause they were awesome. Even the makeup designs. Just, all the practical effects when it comes to the movie looks really good. And of the wide shots of the landscape and the cityscape. And even some of the action sequences looked really good. However, there are moments where there is CGI that happens to be in the movie that should not probably be in the movie. And most of it... Uh, is around Black Panther's character. There is this one fight between Killmonger and Black Panther at the end, which I think they should have done a little bit better with. Will I watch it again? Probably not. Most like, and I definitely probably wouldn't buy it. Is it one of the best MCU movies? No, it's not. Look, I really appreciated the performances, and I thought the cast was really good, and I love the soundtrack. But the problem it really is with the writing. Black Panther feels completely underplayed in this movie. So right in the problem, they just completely overkilled the whole message of the movie. Which I believe personally isn't that black people are victims, that they actually can be just as successful and just as happy as everyone else. Unfortunately, the movie doesn't preach that. There is some humor here and there, and it is hit and miss uh, for the most part. But 
I will say Black Panther definitely deserves three out of five. Yes, this movie is a decent attempt, but it definitely could have been a better movie. All right, then, guys, in the comment section below, let me know what you thought about Black Panther. And also, be sure to hit that like, share, subscribe, and that notification button to get the best of what's going on on the Narrow Chase channel. And we'll catch you guys later.